Mr. and Mrs. Kapoor have been married for the past three years. They have a one and a half year old son, but they want to wait for at least four to five years before having another child. When they were discussing different methods of birth control with their doctor, their doctor suggested something called a intrauterine device. That's what we'll be discussing in today's video, how intrauterine devices or IUDs work as a method of birth control exclusively for females. Before we move on with the video, let's first recall what is birth control. Now birth control is something that prevents pregnancy. And how does pregnancy occur? Pregnancy occurs when a sperm fuses with the egg, which results in the formation of the zygote. The zygote then gets implanted in the womb or the uterus, after which it grows into a full-fledged fetus. So birth control methods aim at preventing pregnancy from happening. IUDs do prevent accidental pregnancies, but beyond that, they are also suggested for women who have irregular menstrual periods. If they have irregular periods, doctors suggest IUD as a way to regulate their period cycle. With that, let's dive deep into how IUDs work. So IUDs, as you might have guessed, are inserted within the uterus. Intra means within, uterine refers to the uterus. So IUDs are something that are inserted inside the uterus. And they look something like this, sort of like a T-shaped structure. And there are two main types of IUDs. One is a copper releasing type, which is also known as copper T because of its T-shaped structure. And another is a hormone releasing type. Now altogether, they are quite small, about 1.2 inches long and 1.1 inches wide. And their small size makes it very easy for it to fit inside the uterus quite snugly. It's inserted right here on the top of the uterus. It looks something like this when it is inserted inside the uterus. And an amazing thing about these IUDs is that it starts working its magic. It starts working its birth control magic immediately after it is placed inside the uterus. So how does it work? Well, the two types of IUDs, the copper releasing and the hormone releasing have different methods of preventing pregnancy from happening. The copper releasing IUDs, as you guessed, release copper ions. So the copper T, when it is placed inside the uterus, it begins to release copper ions. Now what these copper ions do is that they affect the motility of sperm. So sperm have to swim up the uterus and reach the fallopian tube where the egg is waiting to get fused with the sperm. Now if the sperm's motility is affected inside the uterus, the sperm cannot swim up to the fallopian tube to fuse with the egg. So that's how copper releasing IUDs prevent pregnancy. They affect the motility of the sperm. They also destroy the sperm. So as the sperm enters the uterus and if it is destroyed, then there is no sperm left to meet and fuse with the egg. This is how copper releasing IUDs like copper teas work. What about hormonal IUDs? Hormone releasing IUDs release hormones like progesterone or derivatives of progesterone. Now progesterone is a steroid hormone that is produced by the ovaries. So what progesterone does is that it thickens the cervical mucus. What is a cervical mucus? So this is the cervix. The bottommost part of the uterus is the cervix. It has a mucus plug, sort of like a plug, a cork-like thing called the cervical mucus. So progesterone, when it is released from the hormone-releasing IUD, it begins to thicken the mucus plug. Now, if it is so thick, the sperm cannot swim up the cervix into the uterus. So that is how hormone releasing IUDs work to prevent pregnancy. They make the cervical plug thick so that sperm cannot swim past it. They also make the uterus inhospitable. And what does that mean? So the uterus needs to be under proper conditions for the fused zygote to come and implant in it. Only then can the zygote develop into an embryo and into a fetus. So if the uterus is not suitable for implantation at all, then even if the sperm and egg fuse together and even if the zygote is formed, the zygote cannot get implanted in the uterus. That's what progesterone does. It makes the uterus inhospitable or unsuitable for implantation of the embryo. So this is how hormone releasing IUDs work. Now IUDs have a lot of advantages over other forms of birth control. Let's look at some of the advantages of IUDs. 
So IUDs are excellently effective. They're highly effective. They have a very low failure rate. They're almost 99% effective. And if you get an IUD inserted, then the chances of pregnancy are very, very minimal. They're very easy to insert and it's a fairly painless procedure that takes almost 5 to 10 minutes. No local anesthesia or anything is needed. It takes the doctor around 5 to 10 minutes to insert it. And while getting inserted also, there is slight pain but not too much pain. One amazing thing about the IUDs is that it can be left inside the uterus for 8 to 10 years and nothing is going to happen to it inside the uterus. And while it is there for 8 to 10 years, it's still going to be amazingly effective, still going to be almost 99% effective. Nothing is going to happen to it in the sense the body is not going to react against it and cause damage to it, nor will the IUD cause any interference with how the body is functioning. That way, it can be safely left inside the uterus for 8 to 10 years. This is why IUDs are suggested to couples who want to wait for a couple of years before having children. Like Mr. and Mrs. Kapoor from our example, they wanted to wait for at least 4 to 5 years before having another child, right? Because IUDs can be left inside the uterus for 8 to 10 years safely and because they can be removed easily whenever the couple wants to have another child, IUDs are recommended for couples who want to wait for a couple of years before having a baby. Once it is inserted, it need not be removed again and inserted again. This is an advantage over other forms of birth control like diaphragm and cervical caps. IODs are cost effective. They are available for free at government hospitals and healthcare centers. Another amazing thing about IODs is that fertility resumes almost immediately after the IOD is removed. Like take Mr. and Mrs. Kapoor from our previous example. Once they decide to have a child and they remove the IUD, then fertility will return to Mrs. Kapoor almost immediately. In that way, that couples can start trying to have kids immediately after the IUD is removed. There aren't many disadvantages of intrauterine devices. There are some side effects that IUDs can cause like irregular menstrual bleeding, irregular periods, spotting, cramps and some headaches and because IUDs have a lot more advantages than they do side effects they are recommended as an excellent form of birth control for women all over the world. Now before anybody decides to get an IUD inserted it's very important to consult a doctor and this IUD must be inserted only by a registered medical practitioner under proper sterile clinical conditions because otherwise that could lead to a lot of infection and complications.